Anyway, I'll say that the plot thickens. It's a nice painting, that's for sure. But it's, it kind of looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Oh my lord. This car looks so futuristic. Even uh Mr. Wade, I, over here, right here. I have no words. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Hello, ladies, gentlemen. Good morning, everyone. Morning, yeah, Mr. let's Dent. put some of that charm in hey, place. Mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't uh, have you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now we're here about Arkham Asylum. It's Ever a problem. Since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation crude. Its security lacking. And we're still those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, <laughs> this man who's texting all the, the time, mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce, the sick. My parents loved Gotham. Yeah, they let's go with the parents' blood. story sweat and tears in this city they died in this city you know when i was uh, nine years old my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask it was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice. hey that's giving away the cost. goodies man that night my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Well, that's, I imagine, very difficult to admit. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. <laughs> Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? His day has passed. I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. Yes, All we right, can. Who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged Ms. mob boss Remark? Ryan Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your what? father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. I do not believe this for a Is second. A comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? 
Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? It hasn't. be true. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls. I have no idea. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try. The to media to owes me an apology. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Don't let them into the Batcave. <laughs> well, the plot thickens once again. I expected something like that when Vulcan came in the first place. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. Oh boy. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Everybody well, I'm not gonna make your job any more difficult. Up. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course. <laughs> when Alfred blinked for a moment, he looked like an evil demon. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want and I don't blame you. Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers all right. place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings what do you expect are to find? expensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Could you, you at least warrant? let me know yes, what? Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Oh. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill and you're not happy about this. Opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne. That's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I'm looking forward to doing that. Up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Because Hill I am. Um, I go down. Harvey's campaign goes down too. Yeah, basically. That'd be a real shame, Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. This is a great introduction to the Batman mythos. Uh, jackass! Could at least apologize. Is the family photo, isn't it? Yeah. Bruce Wayne has just Bruce, so many issues. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. No, oh, God. Bruce? Ms. Vale. I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... No problem uh, at all. It's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> yeah. Better going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. And I can help it you get keeps the them right away from the important kind of issues. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I, I like you, Miss Vale. The offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say <coughs> I'm the good guy here instantly makes you look bad. Yeah. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette mm. received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations exactly. like this they, they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify to me it's obvious that whole no and falcon are working together I mean, 
No one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landscape. And who else? All sides Guess what he wants? <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Hill, Falcone, Harvey connection. Harvey is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. Exactly. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. I think I this did some my first damage control. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record during the press conference right, here, right now and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record then. Whenever you're ready. All right. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Thank you, Vicky. I really hope she doesn't screw me over. But from what I know about her personality, she's a... You're gonna beat this, Bruce. Two to nails type of, of girl. Goodbye, Miss Rail. Super badass investigative journalist, and I really like her. Who I was it? I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham. And yet people will twist day. us. All this on the anniversary of your parents, not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Harvey couldn't possibly sell me out of Volcom, could he? He could. But no. That wouldn't fit. Would it? A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah. That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? Yeah. The press is Agreed. already up my ass as it is. <laughs> Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Exactly. The cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA. He's making a move. I didn't know about this. I swear. Good. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. Of course he okay, doesn't, I, but... I believe you, Harvey. Mayor he doesn't Hill's like you very much. This move. Does he? And then he's made two enemies. I just don't I feel like it. believing him is a Why bit premature. Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? But the evidence is with this him. doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Could be, could be. Oh God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. Exactly. You need to and stay away from it. For either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No. No, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. Whoa. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Selena? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> tell me you're bringing a friend to dinner. <laughs> this is Selena. <laughs> I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we both I'm Bruce Wayne. Topic. <laughs> I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. Oh, I did not expect this to happen. It's a strong grip you've got there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham. This just became You're an super fun. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can 
Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around. Oh, I have to ask <laughs> this. <laughs> Meet anyone interesting? Not really. Aww. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I That's a burn. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. <laughs> it's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I oh. hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things Aww. like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We'll, we'll find another client. You away with a black eye. Maybe it's time to find a new job. I don't need career advice from you, Mr. Wayne. Not all of us <laughs> were born with trust funds and multi-billion dollar corporations. Hey! Hey, hey, go easy on Bruce. <laughs> it's not his fault he was born rich and good looking. Yeah. At least I'm not the only one. I suffer as much again. as anyone. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? Oh, yes. I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Find them, talk with them, let me know. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh my, the two of us alone. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> unexpected. Very unexpected. This game keeps nice surprising me. Real you. Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> this explains a lot, actually. Does How it? You can no. afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? Oh, I bet he would. Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the eye. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Yet. <laughs> I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I... I have to. But you... I have my reasons. Why take the yeah. risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was, thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Oh, come now. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used you to have something people, of mine. Not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Oh, He's the sexual tension. For. They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Tell me who they are, then. Made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not going to lie in it alone. Yeah. You owe me. I knew you were going to use that angle. What they want, there will be consequences. I can I help don't you. Like consequences. I bet. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Yeah, right, seem like that kind of person. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Not this. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. I don't have the drive. Please, Selena. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? Yeah. It's fine. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna Thank straighten you. everything out. I feel better already. <laughs> Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? 
Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> What was up with Harvey Dent's hostility look? Don't screw it up. I don't intend to. Selena. I am so far really, Alfred, really pleased. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Yeah, it could be an ambush. And if it is, I'm gonna make sure Selena regrets it. But hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. This was Am I being game. set up? It was a massacre. No. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, Jeez. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Jeez. This is particularly twisted. Nothing left to bury. So. I can think of a few criminals who could have done something like this. Hmm. One of them was named Victor something. Was it? I, I honestly don't remember. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. A white rose. I saw a white rose in one of the bodies. So I'm thinking. Scorch marks, liquids, obviously exploded human remains. I'm thinking that the white rose has to do something with Red Hood. Was there such a link? Let's see chemical burns covering the ground, blood remnants of an obliterated. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made Damn. a pretty big move. I'll see what I can piece back together. Telltale have really, really done it with the investigation system so far. I'm really pleased I've about that. It looks same mercs that broke into City Hall. So far, we've got me. The police on the side of uh, quote unquote good. We also have these masked creeps. And then we've got Selena, who's working for God knows Canisters what. Are stored here. Or whom? Canisters of what? They had to meet up in this place where someone. Where someone did a number on all these people. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Me too, Your Alfred. Kind of. You against that. Let's see. Can I open it? Shift plus Q. Damn, I'm strong. That's a shrapnel. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Incendiary ammo, perhaps? Or is it from the blast epicenter? Hmm. Let's see. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Someone blew the explosion up. 
<laughs> Obviously. Interesting. Let's see the policeman. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Ah, Falcone. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. I think Falcone and the mayor probably have something going on. I've mentioned that already. That bad? Jeez. That guy looks like a zombie. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then? Definitely not. Hmm. Skylight Club. What the hell happened to this guy? Burnt cop. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Did this? Uh huh. I'm using WAS. Oh. There it is. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Exactly. Possibly I knew it. Do. I called it. <laughs> this could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. You have no idea how proud I am of myself right now. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Oh my god. He clawed out the other guy. Bloody hands. And they went insane and they killed each other. Oh my. Some kind of a nerve. Cop shredded this murk to pieces. Bare Some kind of a nerve agent. God. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Exactly. Cruises nerve agents? Plenty of people, it's Gotham after all. So I'm thinking that the nerve agent has to do something with Cobblepot, perhaps. I'm not gonna go with Joker for every answer. I don't even know if he shows up until later. The same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they find that at a local gun store. It appears military. And who's military? Alfred! Uh-oh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Alright. Cindy bullet. Anything else I'm missing? Hmm. Ah, uh, let's check out a cop. this. The force grows thinner every day. A few cops dead. Not good news for Gordon. So where do I... Hmm. The rose, there's no connection there. How about here? How do I um, unlink the cancel link? Damn it. Alright, so I may be just a 
teensy tiny bit stuck right now because I am un oh look at <laughs> the something was here when the explosion occurred all right link with this one because there is nothing else left sometimes weird how I how Telltale's games. Someone drove off after the explosion. Kind of don't show you the whole picture yes. until we move in specific angles. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Okay, so Fal those are Falcone's men. Excellent. Good to know. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. But why would Falcone's Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. I'm curious Looks to like know men got what they which side and escaped. the sniper is on. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. All right, so he... And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I'm trying to make sense of why exactly he would shoot this can the canister. Use bad tech to reveal trace evidence of phosphorus. Let's see. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. All right, move on to the next spot. I like how tense the music is starting to get. Oh, I wonder it. Yeah. Now we've got it. For a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Yes, we do. A good cigarette might have trace DNA left. <laughs> Killing time. So he knew he was just standing there waiting for something to go wrong? This is the right spot. So where did he go? I feel like I'm about to find out pretty damn soon. Trace he here. jumped. Then he should be he jumps nearby. down. Oh, a pool of blood. Time Which means that work. once the phosphorus went into his system, bad things happened. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. Yes, you are. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. I will. You can bet your ass on that. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Either that or your resolve. One of the two is going to. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Time to live up to my reputation. 
You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Yeah. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! Alright. Tell me! That Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. So why would Catwoman steal the drive in the first place? Falcone had sent his old man to that place. To the office. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals, there's some kind of explosive. A weapon. Yeah, I kind of I noticed. Balcony said he'd use them. Give me something I can use. That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. <laughs> oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. Mm. Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman! What did you do to him? Don't move! I'm sorry, Gordon. I did what I had to. Well, I wish you had waited for us. Could have avoided this. Could have, but... Gordon? I said silent! If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. I'm taking this as far as I need to. Always 